Hello everyone. I hope you are all doing well. I'm Manhar and welcome back to MSFT webcast. In this video, we are going to learn the steps on how to configure filtering in Microsoft Entra Connect Sync. When installing Microsoft Entra Connect with Express settings, all objects in the on-premises Active Directory environment are synchronized to Microsoft Entra ID. This may include objects that you don't need in Microsoft Entra ID and it may include sensitive objects that you don't want in Microsoft Entra ID. By using filtering, you can control which objects appear in Microsoft Entra ID from your on-premises directory. The default configuration takes most objects in all domains in the configured forest. You can enable filtering at any time. Filtering allows us to exclude OUs and the objects they contain so they are not synchronized to Microsoft Entra ID. There are four types of filtering options available with Microsoft Entra Connect. Group based, domain based, OU based and attribute based. You can use multiple filtering options at the same time. For example, you can use OU based filtering to only include objects in one OU. At the same time, you can use attribute based filtering to filter the objects further. When you use multiple filtering methods, the filters use a logical AND between the filters. If you start with a default configuration of directory synchronization and then configuring filtering, the objects that are filtered out are no longer synchronized to Microsoft Entra ID. Because of this change, any objects in Microsoft Entra ID that were previously synchronized but were then filtered are deleted in Microsoft Entra ID. Objects appear to have been deleted from Microsoft Entra ID when removed from the scope of Microsoft Entra Connect, but instead they are stored in the Microsoft Entra ID recycle bin for 30 days. After these 30 days, the objects are kept in a purge stage for next 14 days. It may take up to 44 days to actually remove objects out of scope of Microsoft Entra Connect from Microsoft Entra ID. When you remove domains, containers and OUs from scope, you may hit Microsoft Entra Connect's export object deletion threshold. The prevent accidental deletes feature is enabled by default to protect you from accidentally deleting multiple objects. If you delete many objects due to filtering, you must disable the prevent accidental deletes feature to allow the deletion to be applied to Microsoft Entra ID. Since this is a test environment and we don't have many objects, there is no need to disable the prevent accident deletes feature. In this example, we will limit the sync scope to only to one OU within the msftwebcast.local domain. We will be using the latest version of Microsoft Entra Connect with a single domain Active Directory forest. First, log into this server where Microsoft Entra Connect is installed. This is our Windows Server 2019 domain controller named ws2k19-dc01 for the msftwebcast.local domain. In the previous video, we used the Express settings to install the Microsoft Entra Connect tool on this domain controller. Before you start making changes to filtering, make sure that you disable the built-in scheduler, so you don't accidentally export changes that you haven't yet verified to be correct. Click on Start menu and select Windows PowerShell Admin. Type command set ad sync scheduler sync cycle enabled false. Press enter to disable the synchronization scheduler. The command was executed successfully. After disabling the synchronization scheduler, let's open the Microsoft Entra Connect tool. Double click the Azure AD Connect shortcut icon on the desktop to open the Microsoft Entra Connect tool. To complete these steps, you need access to both an on premises admin and a Microsoft Entra Global Admin or Hybrid Identity Admin. Remember, Microsoft has renamed Azure AD Connect to Microsoft Entra Connect. We are still seeing the old name Azure AD Connect. In the future, you may see Microsoft Entra Connect instead of Azure AD Connect. Once the Microsoft Entra Connect Sync tool is open, click on Configure. We will see a complete list of options we can configure. The one we are looking for is Customize Synchronization Options. Select Customize Synchronization Options and click Next to continue. We'll now be prompted to enter the credentials of a Hybrid Identity Admin or Global Admin for our Microsoft Entra tenant. Click Next. Click on Existing User Account. 
Type the user's password and click on sign in. You may be asked to confirm your identity through multi-factor authentication if it is configured for your Microsoft Entra account. When you want to remove entire Active Directory forest from the scope of Microsoft Entra Connect, remove them on the Connect Your Directories page. Make sure to also remove or reconfigure any service account used by Microsoft Entra Connect in that forest. In our case, we simply need to click Next. On the Domain and OU filtering page, select the directory you want to configure filtering for and select Sync selected domains and OUs. Then in the field below, tick any domain or OU you want to include in the scope of Microsoft Entra Connect. In this example, I only want to sync objects from the India OU to Microsoft Entra ID. Clear checkbox in front of msftwebcast.local. Expand and select the OUs which you want to sync. If I expand the India OU, I have two child OUs underneath it. Let me select India OU. So all the objects which are stored under the India OU will be synchronized to Microsoft Entra ID. After selecting India OU, click Next to continue. On the optional features page, click Next. Click on Configure to start the process. The configuration process has been started successfully. Everything should only take a few seconds. Wait for a few seconds. We can see the message Microsoft Entra Sync configuration succeeded. But since synchronization is currently disabled, our on-premises identities will not be synchronized with Microsoft Entra ID until synchronization is enabled. Click Exit to close the wizard. If you have any Microsoft Entra Connect installation in staging mode, you have to perform these steps on that server as well. This is how you can configure OU-based filtering in Microsoft Entra Connect Sync. There is also an alternative method you can use, but it is less user-friendly. Click on Start button and open Synchronization Service Manager. This opens the Synchronization Service Manager. From here, select the Connectors tab. Under the Connectors section, double-click the name of your local Active Directory. In my example, this is msftwebcast.local. This will bring up the Properties screen for that connector. From the Properties screen, select Configure Directory Partitions. Then select the Containers button. This will launch a screen requesting credentials. The credentials you enter here do not need to be an admin credentials. Microsoft Entra Connect just needs an account that can read Active Directory. Type Administrator as an username and then enter Administrator's password. Once the credentials are entered, click OK. This will bring up the Select Containers screen where you can pick which organizational units you want to include or exclude. Unchecking a box will remove all objects within that OU from the synchronization process. While checking a box will add all objects within that OU in the synchronization process. In our example, we have unchecked everything except for the India OU and its child OUs. This means that only objects within the checked OU will be synchronized to Microsoft Entra ID. Any objects under an unchecked OU will be removed from Microsoft Entra ID. Click OK twice to confirm. On warning page, again click OK. Keep in mind that if an object was previously synced to Microsoft Entra ID and is now located in an excluded OU, it will be deleted from Microsoft Entra ID during the next synchronization. All data associated with that object, such as a mailbox or OneDrive storage, will also be deleted. The good news is that the data is soft deleted, meaning you can recover the object and its data by either re-including the OU in the sync or by moving the object to an OU that is still included in the synchronization. For these changes to take effect, we need to perform a full synchronization. The easiest way to accomplish this is to open the PowerShell on the server and run the appropriate commands. Go back to Windows PowerShell. And this time, we have to type command set -ad sync scheduler sync cycle enabled true. Press enter to re-enable the synchronization scheduler. Now type command start -ad sync sync cycle policy type initial. Press the enter key to execute the command. The result is success. While the policy type of initial does sound like it might wipe and replace everything in Microsoft Entra ID, be assured that it does not. Initial just means a full synchronization. 
Go back to Synchronization Service Manager. Go to Operations tab. We can monitor the progress of the full sync through the Operations tab in the Synchronization Service Manager. For a single forest environment, you should see 6 rows for the full synchronization, all marked with success. You can select each row to examine more detailed reports about what is being added or removed from the Microsoft Entra ID. Let me click on this profile. We can see total 6 objects were deleted. After the full sync completes, only objects contained in included OUs will appear in Microsoft Entra ID. All other objects will be removed. With the full sync complete, Delta Syncs will automatically resume based on their configured schedule. If you need to make any changes to the OU selections, you will need to repeat the steps and rerun another full sync. Let me open Active Directory Users and Computers. We can see I have 4 users under India Users OU and I have another user named Poonam Mehta under Taste OU. Let's go to Microsoft Entra Admin Center. At the moment, the user account of Poonam Mehta is synchronized to Microsoft Entra ID. Because initially, we have synced all objects from our Active Directory to Microsoft Entra ID. Now, after configuring OU based filtering in Microsoft Entra Connect, now this account should be removed as this user account is not stored under the selected OU. To verify that, click on Refresh. And now we can see we don't have that user account anymore in Microsoft Entra ID. Click on Deleted Users. So we can confirm that user account has been successfully deleted. Only objects contained in included OUs will appear in Microsoft Entra ID. All other objects will be removed. That's all for this video on how to configure OU based filtering in Microsoft Entra Connect Sync. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you have any questions or need further clarification, please leave a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on Microsoft Entra ID and other Microsoft related topics. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.